this is the second bay of Angra de Irismo on the other side of Monte Brazil. So there are two there yeah. are two bays. That's amazing. Didn't know that. And then <laughs> here's the little fishing village that we were thinking about exploring. Yeah, we might go there tomorrow. Well, this is our last full day on Tessera Island. So where are we today, Tane? We are in São Mateus. And what's São Mateus got going for it? It's a beautiful little fishing village, maybe five, ten minutes from Angra. And it's really pretty. And it yeah, seems it's, it's obviously an active fishing um, village. Yeah and all the boats are coming in and people are unloading fish. And we were told this is one of the best places to eat fish uh, on the island, so you can see why. There are four fish restaurants right yeah. down at the dock. So and you've got your choice. they're obviously getting fresh fish from <laughs> yeah. the boats. So if you want to eat fresh fish, you're never going to get anything fresher than here. Just decided to, to come and give this a, a little look-see because we... Uh, We'd heard about it, hadn't we? Yeah, and it's uh, our last day, so we were able to get a cab over here, a taxi, for six euros. Which is pretty reasonable. It was, and uh, gives us another village to have a look at. Got an impressive church in the background as well. And we could see all this from Monte... Brazil, when we were up there yesterday. Yeah, so it looked very inviting to come and explore it. So here we so are. So this is the inner harbour at São Mateus. And you can see the very impressive church up, uh, up here. And then the major restaurant uh, that we were recommended is here. Plus there's some more over here too. So you can see. This is the building where they bring the fish into. So these restaurants have a great, uh, yeah, no kidding, great location. Wow. So this was us just exploring uh, briefly uh, San Mateus on Tessera Island in the Azores. And if you want to get an idea of where the ocean is, then that's the Atlantic Ocean over there. It really is. Next stop. What, America? <laughs> I don't. And there's some waves over here, Norm. Look at the waves. Yeah, I know. The sea is bashing really up. Crashing in over yeah, here. Yeah, we didn't really, we haven't really seen that in Angra de Hiroshima, have we? No. So, so that's the Atlantic Ocean arriving in so the. We just came across this boat on display by the harbor in San Mateus. And there's a fascinating story behind it. This is a typical type of boat that did a particular type of fishing. So, and they were fishing for horse mackerel. Yeah, we'd never heard of horse. No. We, we know mackerel, but yeah, horse mackerel. Yeah, we haven't heard of horse mackerel. And the story goes that the uh, the fishermen would use two boats. Maybe one would have an engine, and they towed the other one, and then they set nets up between the two boats. Would throw uh, bait, bait into the ocean and light um, some beacons or flares. Yeah, and they kind of shone lights into it to attract the uh, fish to go in, I and guess. And they would catch the mackerel. Um, but the story goes that basically the, uh, there was a stigma to it because the people didn't see any value to the horse mackerel because it was caught using bait yeah. rather than so wild. I guess and people didn't want that. And also the fishermen who did this were regarded as being poor. But uh, it's just a wonderful story to, it is. to find out, unexpected, on our travels in San Mateus. San Mateus. And they're now saying that, I guess, things have changed and now people are happy to have the, mackerel. the horse mackerel and they're turning a blind eye to maybe where How it's How it's caught, caught or where it comes <laughs> from. But I guess mackerel now is yeah. a healthy fish because of the oil in it. It is. So anyway, another tiny story you discover when you're traveling. Yeah, and just walking around a place, hey, it's full of lots of secrets. It really is. So we thought you'd like to know that. And it's just a cute looking boat. I would hate to be out there in a heavy sea in this oh, boat. Oh, no kidding. Because it said it's got four or five pairs of oars on. So yeah. the very thought of... Having to row, row it. it with 
it's not not my idea of fun i don't think no <sighs> the beautiful thing about these little cities and villages we we visit in uh, portugal are just the impressive churches i know everywhere's got one in it's fact, absolutely fantastic yeah in fact angra has probably i don't know maybe eight or ten we've seen but the architecture is just stunning and when you think about the problems i've had with uh, earthquakes yeah. So in Angra do Ijmo, they had a major earthquake in the early 80s yeah, that destroyed a lot of the cathedrals. Of well, lo yeah, lots of them, but also the cathedral, didn't it? It did, yeah. Wow. So here's the church in Sao Mateus. Mateus. We can't get Tien to say that. <laughs> Sao Mateus. In the lovely little fishing village, and the on, church is beautiful. On Tessera Island. soup at the fire hall again so this is our three course meal what do you think team looks great doesn't it and it's really hot look at that minestrone soup so our experiment continues at yep. dining at the fire hall so it keeps getting better team because the wine has arrived now so you got half a liter of wine I have white wine and I got half a liter half of red a liter wine of red. makes the lunch go down well doesn't it no kidding so you enjoying this absolutely wonderful eh? the is. soup's great so here's the main course which is uh, a nice salad and it's a fish dish and you've got to realize this is the small portion not the big portion and we're paying 550 euros for everything so far including the wine the soup <laughs> yeah and the main course and i think there's going to be a little dessert also so this is amazing eh? Mm. well this is fantastic it's like a, a salad so it's cold chickpeas potatoes i'll go good with that red wine no? absolutely fantastic so lunch continues team and now we'll, i got a really nice espresso and we're having two cakes one vanilla one cinnamon and tina has cream in her coffee and once again she's taking a photo for the family album is that good yeah so we're looking forward to seeing what these cakes are because we haven't had these before have we yeah. <clears throat> but if you realize norm we both had half a liter of wine Shh. each don't tell anybody <laughs> and look at the little cakes they're wonderful